Hello everybody, welcome back to Sin City Living. This is Jason bringing you today's episode. So I hope this show works out pretty well. As I mentioned before, I, I tested all my mics on my entire sound system. And what the problem is with the uh, hissing sound in the most recent videos is likely um, the camera itself. The camera or the, the uh, device that was in between the wireless uh, um, microphone setup and the camera itself. Uh, one of those two things and since I bought everything used when I first started the channel I'm gonna have to wait a little while until I'm able to to replace everything uh, but I'm gonna use this this camera with its internal microphone so you guys may pick up some background sounds of some other stuff especially my puppy whining um, but hopefully this will get the job done until I am able to overhaul my entire setup and uh, so for today I want to talk about I want to talk about four of the I don't want to say the worst strategies because they're not bad strategies, I almost want to say the biggest time waster strategies, the most pointless strategies um, that, we, that we may see from time to time. Some of them may also qualify as, as the worst, uh, but four of the, the, the most pointless strategies that you might see in craps. Uh, don't forget, by the way, everybody, that we, uh, we did find that, uh, that online casino for you guys with some low limits, craps. Uh, uh, roulette, live dealers, great sports books. So you can practice your your strategies on there if you like. Uh, just check this, the links down below if you uh, if you're interested. There's some sign up specials in there, some free money. Now, with this, the first one, and this one, I I literally saw this today. Actually, no, I should say I see this every single day. Every single day, I will see a player that bets a pass line or don't pass only. No other bets, just that bet. Typically, um, they, they, they gravitate towards the table with no other players. This, by the way, is my number we born for the dealers. This is so hard for us to stay awake for. I had somebody one time that was doing a $10 don't pass bet. They were the only player on the table, and they bet this for an hour and a half, and that's it. So the, the, the stick looked like a windshield wiper because we are just calling. You know, We'd have a number marked, like let's say the nine is marked, and we're just, we're just rolling back and forth with the, with the stick. You know, six, four. 12, 6, 4, just, just mine. And, and naturally, they go on this absolutely fantastic run. The thing is, with either one of these bets, you're wasting your time. It's absolutely pointless. Yes, that right there, actually, both of them have really good house edge. Remember, house edge means nothing except that you lose your money slower. The lower the house edge, the slower you lose your money. That's it. That, 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 it has no bearing on how much you can win if you catch a fantastic roll. So let me put it this way for you. If you're on the pass line, what is a fantastic roll? That means you're on the do. So you are looking for a good roll. You are looking for a shooter that rolls really well. So let's take a look at the mythical hour-long roll. Not too many players ever catch this roll. The world record is four and a half hours, but we'll look at the mythical, or the, or the, the legendary, I should say, hour-long roll. An hour-long roll probably has around 40 to 45 rolls of the dice. That means that at best, at absolute best, you're looking at 8 to 10 points made. Absolute, absolute, absolute best. Um, plus you got got a few winners and stuff like that. So absolute best, one shooter, a really hot shooter, you might make 100 bucks, uh, 100, 130, 140, 150 bucks off that, that bet. If that is your only bet, no odds, nothing else, just that bet, you're wasting your freaking time. You are, are just are wasting your time at an incredible level. Um, so you know, there's that. You're, you're, you just, you, you catch a great roll and you're not going to make the F you, I'm out of here money. It's just not going to happen. So what's bet number two? Bet number two is almost the same thing. It's the come bet with odds. Come bet, or with, with odds. Come bet with no odds. I see this all the time. We look at this and we're like, and the dealers are asking, do you want any odds? Do you want any odds? Do you want any odds? And no, people, people just, oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And you know, I get it with the four and ten because the four and ten can uh, um, can be tougher to to roll. So some people are afraid to put odds on these. But when I see this by itself, every dealer looking at it is look at this player thinking in their head, "You're an idiot," because if you if you put the equivalent dollar amount on as place bets, you actually make more than even money. So it it ranks right up there with the uh, with the don't pass. 
Um, for number three, oh, and by the way, don't forget if you are checking those links down below to uh, find the link for our, our new channel. It's our family channel. It's just us as a family. We are, we are huge, huge, huge fans of reading. So we create a channel. We just talk about books. We talk about books. We talk about, about books and, and their tie-ins to, to movies, TV shows. We review books, a lot of books, review a lot of authors. It's just something for fun. It's our biggest passion. Even our kid has a bookshelf in his room. So we would absolutely love it if you guys would just check it out or just give us a subscri subscribe for a little while. It just really help us out. Um, if not, no worries. Now, the next one, number three of biggest time waster bets, feel bet by itself. Just a feel bet. Once again, the odds are against you, and you're, you may catch a decent roll, but again, this pays even money. You know, possibly if you're pressing it, we do have that video where we show we're pressing the, the field bet, but just betting a table minimum field bet every single roll, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time, you're, you're boring the dealers, you're boring yourself probably. There's, there's just absolutely no point behind this. You can't catch a, a hot, hot roll for this. It's just not gonna happen. So, you know, what's, what's the goal? What's the point? What's the end game? What, well, where's your, your, your FU money, I'm out of here? You know, what's your win condition? You, you're not gonna hit it. There isn't a win condition. And, 10, right, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you go table max in the field, sure. And I, I actually saw that the other day. Guy, <laughs> guy came Seriously? up and 2,000 in the field, hit, took their two grand and walked away. I also saw not too long ago, a guy, 2,000 in the field and 12 rolled. Here's your six grand and he took off. It does happen. I will tell you this, the guy that hit the 12, he lost about 15 grand over the next two days. Doing, guess what? The field. Uh, and the final one as kind of a time waster bet is hot bets only. People, and a big one lately is horn bets. There's, for some unknown reason, I don't know why, people suddenly think a horn, the horn bet is the most brilliant bet in the world. And there's so many people that come up to the table and that's all they bet. They only bet the horn or they have a horn every single roll. The horn is no <laughs> different than a three-way crap or, or a world bet, they're all hot bets. So they're no different than hopping the three-way sixes, hopping the three-way eights, hopping the, the, the fives and nines. And it's a time waster bet. First off, it's a one roll bet, which it's, it's silly to do a one roll bet when you're on a craps table where there's so many bets that will stay up and pay you as they keep, um, as they keep rolling. They don't lose just because they didn't roll. They only lose to a seven. Instead, you want to bet a, make a bet that has to win its very next bet. Second reason why it's a bad, bad idea, again, the odds are very, very much against you. You don't catch a hot roll on hoppers. Every so often you do. I mean, there's, there's a, there was a great one that, that happened the other day that, uh, that I might include in another video that was really hilarious. Um, and it was a $10,000, $12,000 swing and literally three rolls of the dice. Um, but it's extraordinarily rare. And reason number three is if hot bets and hot bets only is the entire strategy, then the person doing them is not particularly good at math because it makes absolutely no sense to be playing craps to begin with. You should be playing roulette. If you're hopping a number, there's 36 combinations of the dice. When you hop a bet, you're trying to hop some of those combinations, a certain number of those combinations. For instance, if you're hopping the three-way sixes, you're hopping five, you're betting on five of the 36 combinations of the dice. 36 combos of the dice. If you hit one of them, say a 12, one of the ones that only has one way to come, say a 12. That's the equivalent of betting one number on roulette, right? You have a one in 38 chance on roulette, it pays 35 to one. You have a one in 36 chance on craps and it pays 30 to one. Way different. If you're hopping an easy way, like say an 11, you're technically hopping two of the 36 combinations of the dice. So it's no different than betting two numbers in roulette. You have a one in 18 chance in craps and you have a one in 19 chance in roulette of hitting those numbers. In craps, it would pay you uh, 15 to one. In roulette, if you're betting a, a two-way split, two numbers is gonna pay you 17 to one. So the odds are almost identical, but the payouts are better. It makes no sense to only do hot bets. So I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at the very least, just plain fun. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Bye. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So 
Again, we want to uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible, and then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January. January while we were down, and uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So. Uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both, both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long, over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, Building websites, hosting site, you know what what sites can host, and and uh, uh, how to build up, you know the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, also please email me, and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please. Email me and uh, and let me know. I uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, there's that, and and uh, of course we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup. But I am an AV moron, so also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area please email me, and, and are willing to answer some questions, please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching, and we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.